It's 16 past seven. A couple of things happened to me in the surf today on my way of a day. First of all, a fin came off my surfboard and disappeared. I didn't know about it until I got back up to the shower to cleanse myself. So in the morning before I go out, I've got to replace um, one of the fins from my, well, I'm gonna use the modern Highline that I'm not, you know, that's obviously I've removed the fins from that and I've just stored them up top there. So I'll take this guy and I'm gonna pop him on. Um, but I did let uh, Global Surf Industries know that I'd lost one in the surf. And uh, yeah, well, there's a replacement set coming. Uh, I'll explain more about the ins and outs of the replacement set, but it's gonna be something, um, well, we'll wait, we'll wait and see. I don't wanna blow it. But then the other thing that happened in the surf in the same day, uh, probably at the same time, and I say probably because I don't actually know how this happened. I don't, I didn't feel anything. I didn't know anything about it until I got back up here, like I said, under the shower and I was doing my board, oh, I'm missing a fin. And then I got under the shower myself and my leg got cold. I was like, huh? And uh, yeah, I copped a fin slash to my wetsuit. Look at that guy. Um, but you would think that I would have felt it in my leg, right? It was underneath my hamstring, under my thigh there, on the back, back part of my thigh, like around the back here. But there's no mark there, there's no soreness, there's no pain, nothing. But I did reach out to Arzen Wetsuits and Andy from Arzen kind of said, oh man, this is pretty common, you know, like it's not an unusual thing to happen to a surfer at some point. It's a fin chop, basically. Um, and he suggested, he sent me some pictures of how he repairs them. He suggested a half millimeter super stretch patch glued onto the inside of the cut. So turn the wetsuit inside out and glue a patch over it. And he sent me a image of, uh, a couple of images. One of them here is the finished repair job. So that's what it would look like from the outside of the wetsuit. Um, basically the cut would still be visible, but it would be tied together on the inside with the patch and the super glue. And this is the glue he mentioned that he uses. It's called Parafix or Parfix fast grip contact adhesive. So I'm gonna go out and try to find some of that. But the reason for this daily vlog is just to let people know, if you're a kook like I am on, on YouTube and you're surfing and you lose a fin, it's not the end of the world. These things pop in and pop out. You can replace them pretty quickly um, if you have them, if you have them on hand. If you don't have them on hand, you can buy a replacement set, no dramas. Um, as far as a fin chop goes to a wetsuit, like I said, not an uncommon thing to have happen. First time it's happened to me. Mind you, I've never owned a wetsuit. Oh, I have as a kid, but you know what I mean? Like the Arzen wetsuit from this season and from the uh, previous season, Wave a Day, got lucky, never got a fin chop. It's just coincidental that it happened the same time on the... I'm, th I'm thinking the fin chop hit my leg. And the reason it didn't penetrate to my skin is because it came out of the board and that's why I got a small chop in the wetsuit, but nothing on the body, on my own body. Um, because I watched the playback and every single ride and even the, the, like I took a few falls, nothing major. And I looked back at everything and I can't see where it happened. I've even got GoPro footage of me with the fins, like the board upside down and you see all three fins. So I really don't know when it happened to me. All I know is that it's not uncommon and don't like, you shouldn't, like it's not the end of your wetsuit if you get a 